Hey guys, what's up? So today what I want to show you is a couple figures that they are not SH figure arts, but what they are are figures that can fit in with the line pretty well. So for example, uh, some Dragon Stars and some figure rise standards. Um, most of them don't fit at all very well. You know, they don't look good enough and they're either too tall or way too bulky. They just don't fit well enough. So Here's a couple that I think fit pretty good. So first up we have um, this figure rise standard Frieza. So as you can see he's a lot bigger than the SH figure arts one and he's much more muscular. But that's pretty good because if you watch the anime then you know that he powers up at the end even after he's gone into his final form. He's fighting with Goku at some point and then he bulks up and he gets even buffer and he increases in size. And then I think that's a good representation of that. It's like a full power final form, you know? So I think that fits perfect. And another one that works is um, this is figure rise standard Krillin. So Krillin is the exact same size actually as the SH Figure Arts one. It it's uh pretty much the same proportions too. I actually like the aesthetics of this one better compared to the first release anyway cuz there is a new Krillin coming out this month. Um actually getting it, hopefully it comes in soon. So this one for sure works. It has a couple of extra faces and um extra hands too. I did paint it and it's been matte sprayed so it does look a little bit better. You can make it look as detailed as you possibly can depending how good you are as an artist. The articulation is not as good but it's pretty decent and you can get him into some cool poses and he does not stick out like a sore thumb on your, on your shelf at all. So we got him and then let me take, let me make some room here. Got a big figure coming. Actually, well, let me show you next to like Goku so you can see the size. So yeah, um, my Goku was kind of hard to get to at the moment, so I'm just gonna compare it to uh, Gogeta over here. He's the same size as Goku anyway. So as you can see, it, it's a good uh, it's a good comparison. Um, you can see actually Frieza next to the size, and that works too, you know. So I think that Krillin is a good addition. And also, let me show you the big guy here, Broly. So Broly, it's kind of big, but it fits here, huh? Let's see if I can back him up. Try not to have him drop his effect. She ain't screen, not even in the screen yet, huh? All right. Okay, so there's a uh, Broly, and um, yeah, I have the the other Broly, the full power Broly, and it's pretty much the same size. It's it's very similar in size, so. It's a good Broly. Uh, once again, here's like Goku. This is pretty much uh, or Gogeta. You know they fight in the movie, so yeah, that's a good one that fits in. It's kind of the same size as the SH Figuarts one, so you don't miss much out on that at all. It um, it's it's it looks good. You know I painted it and um, also matte sprayed it, so that goes a long way. If you don't do that, then it kind of looks a little bit plasticky on the shelf, and it doesn't it doesn't blend as well as you would like it to, you know. So you got to add a little bit of shading and stuff, a little bit of paint. Um, the Frieza one was like the first one I had ever done, so it's a little rough, and it just the pieces don't come together as tight as I would like them to. So there's a lot of gappage, and it makes it look a little bit uh, weird, the shading and the legs and stuff. But yeah, if those pieces fit like tighter together, maybe you can glue them together if you guys get them, it'll look better. So, um, yeah, those are all good scale wise and like looks wise, aesthetically. They don't, 
they don't look like uh like bad figures you know they're pretty good it's not like that frieza puts the other one to shame if anything the other one has a pretty good sculpt the face might be more accurate if anything even the colors and stuff once again you know i matte sprayed them and then i added the shine to the purple and um that that goes a long way for them so keep that in mind if you are considering getting these Uh, yeah, I also got a couple more I want to show you here. So let's get to the Dragon Stars ones. Um, we got Kid Boo. So Kid Boo is a pretty good size. He he uh, has also been matte sprayed and uh, painted. Not not completely painted though. I just added a bit of shading to the pink, and then I I uh, I fixed the belt a little bit, and then I filled in the black holes just so it stands out better, you know, and the black on the arms and on the back. So that one's kind of easy to do, but he fits in well. The other ones I got here. Now these don't fit perfectly. These are a little bit taller than than the SH Figure Arts version, just slightly. Uh, they're, they're bigger, but they look good. Compared to some of the Dragon Stars ones, these don't stick out so much. Like, you can't tell the difference as much. Like, I think the sculpts are good, and when you have them posed on your shelf, nobody's gonna think twice, it looks good. They have a decent shading, even, and I matte sprayed this. I added a little bit of shading to uh, Android 18's hair. So, they, that makes it look better, like I said. So, you guys would have to do something like that. Here's Krillin, for example. Uh, I think that scale is pretty good. Krillin should be shorter than them both. The only thing is that, like, Goku, I think, should be taller than both of them. And I think he is. Let me see. Let me have him stand up straight. He, yeah, he definitely is. The scale's not bad. So he's taller than them, so I think that works good. It's just the SH Figure Arts toys, they're, uh, they're a bit smaller than these two. I'll, I'll do a comparison on those later because uh, I got the new Androids coming in. Uh, I think they come in this month too. The, the Tournament of Power one. Yeah, so when those come in, I'll do a comparison with these and the other two. So yeah, see those fit in well. Okay, and another one that fits in really good is a cell here. So, this cell, he is actually, he's much better size than than the SH Figure Arts one and even the Figure Rise one. The Figure Rise one is too big. I actually have that one too. I don't have it here for comparison, but it's pretty good. It, it's tall, but it's just a little bit too beefy and bulky. This one is like more in between the two other companies this one's like right in between the height wise so i think that this one actually works good like i i matte sprayed it also of course so that helps and there's probably some more stuff i could do to it that i haven't done but yeah it fits in good let me show you how he looks next to um next to somebody what is he fighting Yeah, so there he is next to Gohan. So that, that works pretty good, you know? Uh, that's how I have it set up on my display. I have the father-son uh, Kamehameha set up against Cell because I don't have the SH figure at Cell. I honestly don't even like it. I'm hoping they release a new one because I'm not about to pay like like 150 or something for that perfect Cell with the right colors too because there's a few releases and none of them look good. And the one that actually looks decent is still too small and he looks kind of scrawny, so... That one's not for me, so uh, I'm hoping they release a better one, and I'll pick that up. But yeah, those are those are a few figures that they're cheap and they fit in well with the line. So if you're having trouble finding the androids or cell, you know there is no Kid Boo, and um, Brawly Brawly is expensive as hell. So 
I do think there is a new uh, demoniacal fit Brawly coming soon and it has the same look as the one I just showed you so if they bring that if they look at that yeah that demoniacal fit one's gonna be cool so you guys should look out for that but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think you guys think they fit in well with the line or not